八八八八八八八。Hello, I'm Randolph Oxhead, professor of particle physics at Christchurch College, Cambridge, and welcome to this Open University special to mark the switching on of the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva which is probably one of the most exciting events in particle physics of this century. It's met with mixed response from the public, from the doomsday mongers who predict the end of the world through the creation of black holes, to, well, for example, I received this, this, this letter from someone called Dremelone Schinkeschlenker. It's a poem called The Particle. At the brink, on the edge of the line, fringing the perimeter boundary of the periphery border limit, to the outskirts of space and time, during a split picosecond there was a fraction of an instant when, for just one moment, a particle with no charge or mass existed for a while. Now you could say this is where art collides with science. <laughs> And then, of course, there are the jokes. For example, there's a joke going around the campus that a high-energy proton collides with another high-energy proton in the detector chamber of the Large Hadron Collider. And one says to the other, <laughs> fancy bumping into you here. But on a serious note, though, the high energies involved in this, dis in this experiment would possibly allow us to detect the Higgs boson. Now, this particle is like the missing piece of a jigsaw, wh which would allow us to complete the standard model, and it would, of course, allow us to account for mass. But so far, this particle has remained quite elusive. In fact, often my colleagues can be heard to say, that's a fucking bastard, that Higgs boson. Um, or, as my good friend Stephen Hawkins says, the Higgs boson is a complete and utter fucking bastard.